Here are six habits that hurt your mental health. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have a mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, perfectionism. Would you describe yourself as a perfectionist? On the positive side, being a perfectionist can ensure that anything you do will be done to the highest possible standards, which can make you very valuable, be it at your workplace or at home. However, if your perfectionism is making you set standards that are impossible to reach, or that constantly feel like anything worse than perfect is a complete failure, then this habit will end up hurting your mental health. It may even lead to feelings of uncertainty, distress, the development of fear of failure and anxiety from being judged. Ultimately, your own self-esteem and self-confidence may take a heavy hit because of the unrealistically high expectations you have for yourself. Number two, lack of physical exercise. When was the last time you had any physical exercise? Not only is it necessary and good to help you sustain good physical health, but it can also benefit your mental health as well. According to research, physical exercise can help you maintain good mental health through the chemical and hormonal reactions in your body. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are responsible for suppressing chemicals or radicals that are related to depression, anxiety, and stress. So you may wanna consider adding exercise to your daily routine to improve your mood. Number three, overuse of social media. How much time do you spend scrolling through social media? The overuse of social media can be a habit that harms your mental health. According to Child Mind Institute, the overuse of social media can promote anxiety and lead to issues with self-esteem in teenagers and adults. Perhaps you're scrolling through your Instagram or Facebook and see posts of people you envy and you start comparing your life to theirs. This habit to look at the highlights of other people's lives may bring up doubts or insecurities that you have of yourself and worsen your overall mood. Number four, taking life too seriously. Have you ever laughed so hard you almost cried? Sometimes when you take your life too seriously, you can end up hurting your mental health. Perhaps you've had a small and silly mistake, but instead of laughing it off, you focus on why you made the mistake or you keep feeling guilty or ashamed about it. Many studies show that laughter has incredible benefits for both your physical and mental health. This is because laughter can help your body release endorphins and lower your stress hormones. So next time you might wanna try to look at the funny side of things as it may help you put things into perspective and improve your overall mental well-being. Number five not sleeping enough. How much sleep do you usually get? Sometimes you may get caught up in your work and you end up sacrificing your sleep to get things done, but this habit can really harm your mental health in the long run. Lack of sleep makes it very hard for your brain cells to communicate properly. The Sleep Health Foundation states that 60% to 90% of patients with depression also suffer from insomnia. A lack of sleep prevents both your body and mind from resting and recovering from the stresses of the day. And of course, if this builds up over time, the state of your body and mind will worsen. And number six, regretting too often. Do you spend a lot of time thinking of things that happened in the past? Perhaps there was an opportunity you wish you would have taken or a relationship you wish you didn't let go of. Whatever it is, spending all your time ruminating over the past and feeling guilty or ashamed of it can negatively affect your mental well-being. While it's normal to have regrets about the past, having the habit to get stuck in those negative thoughts and feelings can eventually lead to feelings of depression, anxiety, and the development of sleep problems. So, did you relate to any of the points we've mentioned? I did. Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.